Okay, so I'm gonna read some of this Gemini woman to you guys. It says, Gemini woman, the gift. See, can you read that? The gift. Act like you know. The gift. All right, let me read it fast because it's like 22 pages long and I'm not gonna get through all of it, but I'll start, okay. Gemini woman rides a fine line between innate vulnerability and aggressive need to assert her own agenda, both professionally and in her personal life. She is acutely aware of her feminine wiles, using them to her best advantage, often playing coy or precocious in order to disarm people and gain necessary ground. Indeed, no other female creates more of a stir, whether in expressing her signature outside spirit in awesome displays of talent or upsetting the proverbial apple cart in the trademark coops she's wont to launch or both. Gemini is not a casual or even overly considerate character, easily claiming the title of nervous creature in the zodiac. She's capable of achieving the greatest triumphs as well as causing the gravest trouble. She puts everything and then some into scoring any goal, embodying a take no prisoners attitude in each endeavor. Gemini is iconic, if not cyclonic. She leaves every circumstance and indeed each individual she encounters irrevocably altered in the wake of her presence. When it comes to relationships, she throws herself into situations out of an altering need to indulge desire and impose dominance, letting herself be swept away by curiosity. At times, she will full tilt flirt with disaster. Even Gemini touches down and settles into an understanding bond in which she may safely swing between her two distinct personalities, helpless baby doll and ruthless boss. With other women, she is all the more imperious, drawn to doting lovers who will unquestioningly do her bidding in public as well as in private. The sign of Gemini is ruled by the planet Mercury, which, like the messenger god of the crossroads, Greek Hermes, for whom it is named Hermes or whatever, represents the zodiacal principle of consciousness and the third house attributes of commerce, communion, and communication. Ancient traditions likened him to the Logos, or Word of God, and thus he came to represent the pure intelligence of the universe. That defines me. Okay. It is fitting that Gemini is the first air mental sign of the zodiac, one for whom the cognitive faculty is key. One like a Gemini female, and it's clear. She is a woman with much in the way of her, of machinations going on in her mind. As her planet's glyphs suggest, which with its tiny fillers and antennae, Gemini is forever looking to put a bug in someone's ear, whereas Gemini man is caught up in his own need for buzz and stimulation. Gemini woman seeks to incite such excitement in others, if not send them into a complete frenzy. The twin symbol is representative of the strict division between two distinct expressions of her personality, both of which emerge in a Gemini woman at different times in her life, if not within any given day. You might say Gemini guys are simultaneously both sides of their duality and every point in between, while the twins woman is either one extreme of herself or the other. On first introduction, she makes a clear-cut impression, but fittingly, that's only half the story. When next one meets her, she may have made a complete switcheroo, being not just slightly altered, but completely opposite in demeanor. Gemini pours on her separate personalities as something of a defense mechanism. She can sit at a dinner party and quite literally turn a, sp a separate face to the guests seated to her right from that to those at her left. She's tough as leather or frilly as lace, depending on the way she perceives those around her and how they may be of use. If playing the godless, giggly waif works to her best advantage, so be it. But if being the wickedest witch in the western world is called for, she can pull that attitude out of her pointed hat faster than you can say my little pretty. And though it will typically take a lifetime, Gemini works towards integrating these alternate sides of her rather borderline personality, often for the sake of her own mental health. Health. Okay, anyway. 
For Gemini woman, risk depersonalization, a condition characterized by a distortion in how one's self and body feel. As a result of splitting off into her signature separate characters, a predisposition that often surfaces full force during her early adolescence. But fear not, she will make it her existential mission to get herself together, fostering increased integrity in every sense of the word. In biblical terms, the sign of Gemini is associated with dualism, reality as perceived upon buying into the apple swipe from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The zodiac's first cardinal fire sign of Aries is likened to that of the Big Bang, Adamic, Adamic creation. While the second, fixed earth, Taurus, is associated with garden variety Edenic delight, which provided the perfect backdrop for temptation. Gemini, it follows, is all about munching on experience, awareness, being another of the many traits associated with Gemini, third astrological house, the third astrological house. Indeed, twins of both sexes are, like Adam and Eve, made newly conscious of themselves and their immediate surroundings, yet another third house concern. Gemini woman could be considered the embodiment of the two-faced Eve, a self-empowered female come, come, troublemaking temptress or personal fall victim come, progen pro I don't know how to say this, progenitor of humanity. To be sure she is no walk in the park, to be sure she is no walk in the park. Okay, I can read, don't worry. Gemini is rarely the innocent she pretends to be. Even as a young girl, she's often attracted to older, slick, if not shady types on whom she develops killer crushes, seemingly seeking sweet corruption. Sometimes, like Eve, she's bitten off more than she can comfortably chew. Meanwhile, she turns around and tosses the apple at innocent guys whom she, in turn, might seduce into action. It's the same business. She is often the consummate agent holding prized clients in the palm of her hand for others to fight over. Sometimes she is that creative property herself, pitting people against one another for her talented participation. She can be both catalyst and monkey rich, a dream come true or someone's worst nightmare. Whatever the case, she approaches life with an unapologetic deal with me demeanor. Gemini is the only zodiacal sign with the quality element combination of mutable air, air and fire signs being masculine from the zodiacal perspective. As a female in a masculine sign, therefore not aligned with the gender polarity of her sign, Gemini woman doesn't embody the mutable air status. Rather, she projects it onto others, keeping them guessing if not initiating a flurry of disinformation in the process. As well, mutable air signifies a versatile, changeable, or indeed random mentality, just as it denotes the mercurial ether or ethos, um, a world of pure information, intelligence, and creed. Gemini Guy is himself a walking, talking bit of this buzzy atmosphere, engaged in a constant exchange of ideas and dollars, willing and dealing his way through life, negotiating experience with the street smart, swashbuckling piracy of Robin Hood or Peter Pan. The same cannot be said for Gemini Woman. The world in which she lives is filled with people who must constantly negotiate her. <sighs> Gemini is as unpredictable as a pixie. After all, she is the astrological daughter of Winged Mercury, god of trickery and magic. Gemini's, Gemini Woman's particular talent is to perplex making people peg her as one thing only to shape shift into into another. If Gemini Man is Peter Pan, she is Zodiac's Tinkerbell. That little brownie with the twinkly but maddening personality who is all sweetness and light when in love. But woe to any foe who might stand in her way, particularly those who those wholesome Wendy's of the world for whom her heart throb might throw her over. Like Tink's Gemini like Tink's, Gemini's attempts at cruelty might come off as merely comical. Besides which, with her being so subtle a mischief maker, one is often hard pressed to pin Gemini down as an out and out culprit of chaos. One must simply cope with her with whatever confusion she creates. This is after all what this mind alterer is after. Five seconds left. If you want more, 
send me a message.